This is a video here for Tech Wellness. They're going to review wave blocks. I thought I would review their review. Okay, so the first uh, monitor that she's showing here is the Safe and Sound Pro 2. Um, I looked at this meter, by the way, and it's a, just a general purpose consumer grade uh, meter. It picks up between 200 megahertz up to 8 gigahertz, so you're going to see everything that is coming in those frequencies. So to give you an example, you're going to pick up microwave oven energy, you're going to pick up Wi-Fi from either yours or the neighbors. You're going to pick up cellular communication. A lot of the kind of um, frequencies you're going to pick up with this meter. The problem that I see with these meters is that they only provide you the information from the sum of all of those frequencies. So in other words, it doesn't tell you that, say, your Bluetooth is this power level. It's the sum of all of the frequencies being seen. So it's no guarantee that you're actually making a valid measurement of Bluetooth or anything else. It's just giving you relative information. And then this is, I love this, this is my new near field meter. And this very, very specifically measures the radiation right at the source. Uh, yes, I've seen these. This is an um, RF Explore near field antenna kit. It's used to measure the energy given off of PCB traces on a, on a board, you know, the kind of computer board. You can monitor the traces on it. Now, this particular one is a magnetic antenna, a magnetic field antenna. So she's got the wrong antenna on the meter. She should be using, they have an, an e-stub one, which is made more for electric fields. So we're going to use them both, and I'll show you how I use them both. It's, it's just basically another cheap RF power meter. Typically, by the way, when you would do these tests, you would use lab-grade certified uh, test equipment when you would make these kind of measurements for recommendations. Uh, those equipment uh, uh, hardware goes for like up to $10,000, $15,000. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh gosh, look at this. Now we're at a peak. Oh my goodness, you know, I told you I love that peak. We're at a peak just this far away. You really need to look at the numbers uh, when you're looking at these kind of meters, not like the bar or the, the actual LED lights themselves. So let's hear what she says about this. She says it's high. 12,100, and now the, really the correct way to use this is to be a few wavelengths away. So I'm gonna reset it up here, and then we're going to take the levels of radiation. And do you think they change at all when they're actually, um, they're Okay, so this is really kind of amusing. They change at all when they're actually, um, their sound coming in at all when they're actually, um, there's <laughs> the, the there's a little whistling going on there and that's supposed to I guess indicate some kind of a level of meter but the the meter is sending or the Bluetooth is sending digital data it doesn't matter what level it is that's part of the information that's sent uh, over that Bluetooth uh, whistling and, and actually doing the cute little waving s things that have no bearing either the other thing I noticed she's doing that's uh, inappropriate is she's measuring the power output from two of these at the same time, two pods, and you shouldn't be doing that. She should be measuring it for one because they can actually interact with one another. The actual waves coming off of those can interact and actually perturb the measurement. So she's in effect making the measurements uh, more inaccurate by trying to do two at a time. Ooh. Okay, she is into the measuring the near field of that uh, antenna, but that doesn't tell you anything. It's really an inappropriate use of the piece of equipment.
Okay, so I'm going to pause it right there. Um, it actually, when she puts them on and starts to make the measurements, uh, she's measuring it in the cradle. And if you watch the cradle, the cradle is jumping between moderate and high on the cradle. Later, when she compares the two, uh, with and without, um, I, I noticed that it's a higher level than that. So let's let's see. Uh, that we're coming up, I think, onto the part of the video. Over it, it's still high, and we'll go back and look. But I think it, it's a lot less than it was. But still, you don't want high. Okay, right at a. If you stop your video, I just stopped mine at three minutes and twenty nine seconds. She actually compares the before and after, and uh, if you do look at the numbers, don't pay attention to the LEDs. Like I said, they're relative. You can't really use them for anything other than that. But uh, when you look at the numbers, it shows the peak. That is a 2,400 microwatts to 164 microwatts. That's about 15 times improvement on the peak signal. So if you say, hey, let's just look at the max signal. Okay, I'm looking at the max signal, which is the max recorded during the measurement cycle. Um, it shows 5,750 microwatts per meter squared with the uh, before wave block. And after wave block, it's right at 2,600 microwatts. So again, over a two times improvement with the wave block. And then if you really look at the average, which the average to me is more of an indic indicative of what is the real, you know, uh, impact uh, on the person. Um, is uh, one shows before wave block 15 microwatts per meter squared, and the average shows 2.05 with wave block. That is more than a seven times improvement uh, in the EMF uh, r radiation that's coming off of the. Uh, earbuds. F that is a phenomenal change. Uh, that's uh, quite a few percent uh, improvement. Until the next video, stay safe. Okay, so she does not recommend using wave block based on her LEDs there. Um, again, the wrong thing to use to make the recommendation. She clearly showed in the video that wave block does indeed give you quite a bit of a uh, reduction in EMF impact. But definitely the the uh, review here, I don't agree with the way and the equipment that she used, uh, but the results still show that wave block makes wave pods and, and earbuds um, more safe. Thank you.